All right, here we do have another 7.1 problem. So 6x to the negative 4, y to the 0. So the first thing we have to see is what is actually the basis of the exponents. So for negative 4, my base is x. It's only attached to the x. It's not also attached to the 6. If it was attached to the 6, then it would have the parenthesis around it and look like that. And that means, oh, we're attached to the x and the 6. But that is not what we have. We have this. And we also have the y, okay, which is attached to the 0 exponent. So to start this problem, we can either do negative exponents first or the zero exponent. We can do it in any order as long as we apply the rule correctly. So let's start with the negative exponent. Uh, for a refresher, go ahead and check the last video on 5 to the negative 2. But that negative exponent is going to flip the fraction. So if I take my problem and I just give it a fraction bar, that x to the negative 4 is going to come down to the bottom and become a positive exponent, so x to the fourth. So remember, anytime we have a fraction, this is this over 1, so then we're going to flip it with a negative exponent. You're going to flip it down to the bottom half of the fraction, okay? or if it's already there, then you flip it up top. So x to the fourth. Okay, the 6, 6 is just hanging out. It has nothing to do with any type of negative exponents or anything, so the 6 is just going to stay up on the top. And then we have y to the 0. And if we remember, anything to the 0 power is just 1, so that's just going to turn into a 1. 6 times 1, we can do that math, that's just 6. And then my bottom is just going to stay x to the 4th. To enter that on Schoology, you want to do 6 slash x, and then the caret button, which is shift 6 on your keypad, then a 4. So 6 over x to the 4th. 